Hey, so how do we get Alembic cache objects over into Unreal Engine and get them to display nicely? So I've got this simulation I've been working on. Um, it's a curtain animation that I'm working on for an Unreal project. Um, uh, thank you, Andrew Price, for for that for the tutorial on how to get the initial setup for for the cloth. Um, yeah, so basically what I want to do is export this cloth over with the subdivision surface and have it render correctly in, uh, in, in Unreal Engine. So at the moment, um, it looks like this, which is not great. Uh, it's a bit, a bit ugly. The, it has, um, so, so the normals are not, have not been smoothed. Um, the subdivision surface hasn't been applied and it just, yeah, it, it just looks super, uh, janky. So, um, yeah, I've also got some blueprints set up so that I can restart the animation by pressing, uh, pressing T, which is in the level blueprint. Um, yeah, like this. If anyone's looking for how to do that, I'll do something in, in a bit more in depth uh, once I finish the project, because there's still more things I need to add in here. So back to getting this to look good. Um, I, through trial and error, have figured out that the best way to do this is file export. Make sure you've got selected objects selected. Otherwise the hand and lights and everything else will, 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 will go with it. Um, Make sure that you take normals off and apply subdivisions. So if I go in there, export that, fast forward. Okay, that's done. Um, let's go over to the Unreal project. That's the existing um, cache that I've got there. So I'm just going to drag and drop the new one on top. Make sure you've got geometry cache selected. Um, start frame zero, end frame 320, normal calculation, tick that, tick that. This just gives it an extra bump. Um, you, you might not even need this in some cases. Um, but I find that it helps a little bit. Um, I've also got rotation on X set to negative 90, just to flip the curtain over into the correct position because Blender has got a janky way of uh, aligning its X, Y, Z um, axes. And I've scaled it up a little bit so that every time I import things, I don't have to redo this every time. It's handy. Click import and fast forward again. Okay, there we go. Look at that. I've got the start time offset in the curtains uh, geometry cache uh, set to 300 at the moment. So if I set that back down to zero and let's hit play. So the auto exposure kicks in, it'll uh, look a bit better, but eh, you know, there you go, much better. This is a lot more like what I was expecting. Uh, still a little, little, some of the shadows are still a little bit sharp. You can see that over there. So the other thing you can do is if I set that back, start time offset back to 300, just this, so we can see the shadows. The other thing you can do is go and change the source angle then that will really just soften things up a lot more as well. So yeah, just a quick one. Um, I'll do a, I'll do another more in depth one once the project's finished. Uh, hopefully that helps anyone who's stuck trying to get Alembic to look good in Unreal. Cheers.